Hey guys, welcome to the Hyper Lane where we get the latest Star Citizen news as they drop. The playtest for Star Citizen Alpha 3.18 PES feature has been completed, which is great news. And the actual 3.18 build with all of the content, at least almost all of them, are now being tested in the Evo Cardi build, which is the A patch. Alright, this is great news. Before we get started, I'd like to give a shout out to all my patreons and channel members uh thank you guys very much just to let you guys know we're still doing a giveaway for an anvil centurium lti if you want to participate make sure to click the link in the top right corner or you can find the video in the description as well my analytics tell me that we 80 percent of you guys uh that watch my content regularly have not subscribed yet so make sure you do that to help me hit my goal of 20k by the end of this year all right so um into this video 3.18 a patch with actual gameplay content now is now being tested and not only that the b patch dropped not too long after that this is good so these patches are now rolling right remember i said in the last video the ball is starting to roll right they're dropping these patches really quickly and i'm really happy about that this is a sign that everything is going smoothly and i cannot wait and I, it looks like we are actually there's a good possibility that we may hit the target of um a 3.18 release by um, early to mid december cannot wait all right so what i'm going to do i'm not going to read all of the patch notes uh, here because this is it's quite dense but what i'm going to do is i'm going to highlight some of the key features that i'm excited about and uh, i will also leave a link to the um reddit post of these uh leaks uh so that you could check out the patch note to yourself all right so um so they they mentioned the testing focus of this initial build and the uh, a and the b is the salvage hall scraping platform assault on or sin um security post career reactivation career delivery missions updates sandbox uh prison activities sand caves um daymar crash site stanton racetrack location gray cat ptv racetrack and the new rivers all right so this is really really great uh so most of this stuff we know about these so i'm not going to read all of the um content that they have here in the description you can actually have access to it in the link down below to check it out yourself but some of the things that i really find interesting um right here is uh the sand cave archetype it says the addition of the new sand cave archetype across multiple planets and moons in the stanton system including hurston uh magda ida Daymar, and walla and uh each with their um own 20 unique cave uh formations these new caves include the brand new land um crustakeen which uh crustakeen known as the stone bug with its new harvestable this is crazy the stone bug shell this is crazy i'm really excited for it even though i don't like bugs but i like the fact that um we're finally seeing um fauna in the game for the first time it's going to be the first one and not only the fact that we're just going to see it but they're harvestable some of their shells are harvestable that's going to be cool so we'll be able to go down there find them and retrieve them to be able to sell them and make some money off of that so those that are into exploration this is really great for those individuals okay so another thing that i'm really excited about let me look here the security post career reactivation is 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 going to be quite interesting um with the fact that uh players will have to those that have uh crime stats will have at least i think from uh level three onwards will have to infiltrate uh spk to clear their um their crime stat and they will have to like it was was said in an isc uh previously um so they'll have to literally kill the boss the security boss and then to get code and and all that and also kill anybody that's actually protecting the site and other players will also get the mission to come and take you out so it's going to be quite interesting to see how gameplay will be um, in relation to this as well 
um also we all know about savage savage is going to be in another interesting one is the vehicle soft death it says ships and vehicles will now go into soft death and stated instead of um instead of instantly exploding this will put the ship into a power down state unlocking all doors and allowing players to board to take on the crew and cargo inside this is great man this is a whole new level of gameplay that is going to be introduced into the game for the first time the fact that you you, you disable a ship and now you actually need the crew to actually board that ship if you want to take the cargo that is going to be awesome man i cannot wait to actually have this in the game this is going to be great all right um also the sandbox uh prison activities so now they're introducing new things for you to do to earn merit you can find items out there there's going to be a lot more um the prison is going to be a lot more populated in terms of the caves you're going to find npcs walking around and you'll have a choice if you want to take them out and take their stuff you also have opportunities to find things and if you do find things you have an opportunity to take it back and sell it for merits um, so there's going to be more activities that you can do to um, reduce your merits in prison as well as when you escape there is a mission that you can take that um, when you complete it you'll actually they'll actually clear your crime stats so you can find that in the description down below to read up on that that's going to be quite interesting they did also mention that the new default key mine for London is going to be out and all right so that's going to be a new one for us to pay attention to ships and vehicles we already know about the vulture um weapons and items okay that's that's regarding the salvage pes big 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 improvements this is huge 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 i'm really happy that they got pes in let me see anything else interesting here restricted areas just a quick high level it's um there's going to be areas where you'll be able to fly into but you'll have a timer and if you surpass that timer then it will despawn you and your ship and impound your ship so um if you're doing low flying you can you can low fly into certain areas as long as you you're out of there before the timer so that's that's going to be really cool um and um yeah that's going to be really interesting to see as well also the reclaimer crash sites they're going to be adding npcs there to defend the reclaimer crash sites not the reclaimer crash sites but the caterpillar crash sites that's already in the game all right so that's going to be interesting to see um delivery missions they're adding more delivery missions and the affinities associated with it so you can actually rank up through deliveries they added a few uh quality of life updates now so this is the um it says add the ability for long-term persistent items to stack in inventory so more persistence we can't complain about that added transfer all button this is huge that work based on selected filters that is awesome added um visual feedback attempting to quick move an item um that won't fit in a target inventory nice 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 implementing a toggle option to the top right of the player's inventory to always allow show or hide item ports for equipping gear that is awesome that is that is that is also nice as well okay so that is um there is a little bit more in regards to um, arena commander and the other game modes if you want to check it out once again it's down in the description below i have more content like this more leaks make sure to check out this video right here i will see you there